Hi there, it's Howard Scher from Quality Homes. Welcome to the next episode of our Quality Homes seminar series. And today we're going to talk about what we think, and I'm sure you'll agree, is the most important room in the house. And that would be the kitchen and all things to do with cabinetry. Joining us today from Woodland Horizon, our premium kitchen supplier, is Vanessa Sauda. Welcome, Vanessa. Hi, Howard. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Uh, Vanessa, give us a little background about Woodland Horizon, where you're located, and uh, how you came to be. Yeah, so um, I am Vanessa from Woodland Horizon. Um, I have been here for about four years now at Woodland. Um, here we do custom cabinetry. So we design, build, and install all of our own cabinetry. And um, this business started in 2005, and it just started in the back of a shed. And then we had moved to our current location here in Drayton, and that is where we still are today. And, you know, it's, it's so nice to hear of these humble beginnings because I think it talks to your hands-on approach and your craftsmanship. Um, you know, we, we are thrilled with the quality of the kitchens. Um, perhaps you could go over what is a basic kitchen in, uh, that you supply to quality homes in terms of uh, what our specs are and how it differs from most of the large production kitchens that you see out there. Yeah, so for quality homes, the I guess kind of the base package of um, what a quality homes kitchen would be would still include um, a variety of door styles that the client could choose from. Um, it has the variety of um, crown moldings they can choose from, um, either quartz countertops, laminate countertops. Um, we also provide um, soft closed doors and drawers throughout the whole kitchen as well, and then also. Um, have decorative um, base toe kick and then also finished end panels as well. Yeah, so, you know, we, we just feel that this is such a great package as a starter package, whereas with other builders, this would be a significant upgrade. So the value to our customers is huge. Um, so Vanessa, um, you know, people have been cooking forever and, you know, I'm sure you've seen kitchens evolve in terms of design and functionality. How are your kitchen designs helping people be more comfortable in the kitchen, entertain, you know, all of those wonderful things that go on around and in the kitchen today. Yeah, for sure. So kitchens really used to be just about cooking. You know, they were kind of a separate room in the house. They weren't really a part of the house as they were just a separate room just for the cooking. Now people really want to be a part of their guests that they have over and their families. So when they are cooking, um, a big thing is is big islands with lots of um, seating so that their guests or their family members can join them in the kitchen and they can join in with conversation um, while meals are being made. You know, and I just think of all of our social gatherings, well, pre-COVID especially, and the things we're looking forward to most are about that community, you know, gathering around, swapping stories, you know, that the cooking is just part of the of the flavor of the, um, of the event. Um, Share with us some of your top secrets about, um, you know, preparation triangles, storage tips, you know, things that just make the kitchen that much more um, practical yet fun and entertaining. Yeah, so the, um, the triangle in the kitchen is definitely a huge part of a function. So the three points of the triangle would be the fridge, the stove and the sink. And we try to have those three points fairly close together as much as possible and kind of create a triangle between those three. Um, and it just creates good flow for the kitchen. Um, you know, you're not walking from the stove to the other side of the kitchen to your fridge and then back again. Um, it's just eliminating as much steps as possible between those three points um, to get that good flow in the kitchen. And then also in uses of storage space, um, a big thing is drawers. I think a lot of things, or a lot of times people um, have a misconception about that and they want lots of doors because you get a lot of storage space out of that. But the issue is that um, the organization of it. So with a drawer, you open it up and everything is laid out in front of you rather than a door trying to climb in the back of a cabinet door and getting everything out of there that you're needing. So drawers is definitely a big one. Um, also, any inserts within drawers, so double cutlery um, drawers, um, large utensil dividers, that type of thing. Also, spice pullouts is another really big one to keep all your spices organized, and um, just that type of thing. Really, any insert inside of a cabinet 
is a really good use of storage space and great organizing as well. You know, it, it's so great that you supply all of these things. You know, we don't need to go to third party um, suppliers. So during the kitchen design phase, we can take care of all of this. But I think it's important for people to know that kind of the only limit is their own imagination because you have so many options to offer. Um, Vanessa, in terms of uh, trends, you know, we we run our cabinets to the ceiling. You know, we, we're doing, I think, a, a really good job. But what do you see coming down the road in terms of new kitchen trends, whether it be, you know, wood species, colors, um, features? Share with us what you, what you see coming down the road, please. Yeah, for sure. So um, big thing is accent pieces right now. Um, everybody loves to have a good accent piece in their kitchen. That is kind of the focal point. So um, steel hood range is a big one. And you can see that um, in the kitchen behind me here, we have a really big, nice steel hood range. And it just kind of draws the eye to a specific point in the kitchen. Um, another one would be um, reclaimed tops. So mixing quartz countertops and reclaimed tops within the same kitchen. So whether that is um, your island is a reclaim and your perimeter is quartz, or you maybe have the coffee bar off to the side that you want um, in a reclaimed top, that sort of thing. Um, also mixing paints and stains within the same kitchen as well. You have, again, the island that you want in a stain rather than a paint. Um, again, as a really nice accent piece as well. I love that. And, you know, the whole coffee thing is, is huge. And, you know, if you have a specific area, but, you know, just mixing hard and soft surfaces, you know, it just sounds like it's, it really makes the kitchen um, stand out that much more. Uh, Vanessa, in terms of bathrooms, so, you know, cabinetry obviously is quite different in a bathroom. Again, trends, colors, you know, what are you seeing? You know, bathrooms are a little more limited, but I imagine you're seeing some interesting trends there too. Yeah, for sure. So for trends in, in bathrooms, a big thing right now um, is furniture-based style. So having a very open instead of um, cabinetry that comes all the way down to the floor. A big thing is a floating unit, having lighting underneath it that kind of shines down onto the floor. Um, another thing would be um, posts with, you know, maybe two drawer, like smaller drawers at the top and then a a shelf, a big open shelf at the bottom to give, you still have a little bit of that storage space, but it still gives a really nice open feel. Yeah, and you know, I think again, it's a fairly, usually a fairly small space. So it's gotta be highly practical because you may have two people in there, you know, jockeying for position. Um, so I think that layout is really important. The lighting sounds really good. Um, do you do mirror frames to match as well and, and um, valances and things? Yes, definitely. Um, balances, if they have, if you're looking for towers to go on top of your, to sit on top of your countertops, um, to have a balance between there and then um, a framed uh, mirror to match your cabinets is definitely something we provide as well. Nice. Um, so to get a little more practical, um, you know, Woodland receives designs from quality homes in terms of having interviewed with a customer. Take us through, uh, you know, from the time you sort of receive the quality homes um, inspiration for the kitchen and baths to the time it's actually sitting in the customer's home. Yeah, so when I receive uh, the drawings from quality homes, um, I would then take those um, ideas, which is at that point just simply a plan layout. And I put that into our program that we use called Cabinet Vision. And I put that into um, 3D drawings so the customer has more of an idea of how that's going to look. Um, and then I also put it into another program that is really cool, it's called Vortex. And we can put color to it and we can get the exact color that the client is wanting, whether paint or stain, um, the exact countertop, all that type of thing to really bring it to life and that they can see beforehand exactly what their kitchen is gonna look like before it's actually sitting in their home. That's really amazing because most people struggle with, um, you know, reading plans and to have 3D and, and especially the colors is amazing. So uh, when I sign off on my kitchen design, I've got a really good idea of what to expect and what's coming. Uh, once that's signed off, um, tell me a little bit about, you know, fabrication and installation and, and how Woodland does that so well. Yeah, so after I am done with the design process and that is all signed off by the customer, it goes to our engineering team who does all the fine detailed work of it getting ready um, to hit production in the shop. 
from there goes through our shop um, into finishing where they would um, where it'd be the, the, the staining or the painting of the cabinetry. And then from there, it goes to our install team, which we actually install all of our cabinetry at Quality Homes Plant. So the kitchens or the bathrooms, whatever, um, whatever room it is, is all installed at Quality Homes Plant before the house gets shipped to the property. Yeah, I must say it's a really good feeling when I walk through the plant, you know, in the morning, uh, there's no kitchen and in the afternoon it's all done it's uh, you know it's it's remarkable and it's it's really efficient for us because you know we deliver all over the province so to be installing kitchens in Sudbury and North Bay and Peterborough and Windsor it's so much more efficient that we can do it in the factory and, and you know thank you for for setting that up because it, it really really makes us more efficient um, and and the kitchens are complete um, it would seem again a COVID theme uh, Vanessa, that, you know, with many, many more people uh, working from home, uh, offices, uh, you know, home offices seem to be a huge trend. Um, and uh, we found, um, you know, a lot of mudrooms and break off rooms, you know, coming in from the outside, you know, everybody's walking more and trying to get out more. Um, so, you know, we, we're just finding a lot more interest in mudrooms and all that go with them. So, Talk to us a little, please, about offices and mudrooms and, you know, products that you're seeing, finishes that you're seeing again, you know, all the trends to make it fun and practical and useful, please. Yeah, so for the offices, definitely what you said, Howard, about people um, being home so much more, working from home. Um, it's nice to have a comfortable working space instead of um, just a random desk set up in a corner, to have a really nice built-in area for you that you feel like you can spread your work out and really get work done from home is really nice. And having, again, that storage space um, with cabinets that go to the ceiling or adding bookshelves, um, if you have lots of, lots of books, rather than um, stacking them in a corner somewhere, adding really nice custom bookshelves um, to give the space a little bit more character as well is something that a lot of people are wanting. And then, like you said, for mudrooms as well, a big thing um, is having um, space for, for baskets to put either shoes in or that type of thing, or even just um, open cubbies, again, for people to put their belongings in, um, hooks on the back for, for backpacks if they have kids or purses or that type of thing, or coats. Um, and then also a more trend thing with the mudrooms is having a V-group back, and it adds a really nice kind of accent piece for the mudroom space as well. Well, wow. so the other feature I think that um, is very important to people, Vanessa, is the is the laundry room because you know that's where so many things are happening in terms of tasks and loads and you know sorting and all of those things. What does an optimum laundry room look like in terms of cabinetry and and workspace? Another great thing for laundry rooms to think about is storage space, um, cabinetry that goes all the way to the ceiling. And then also um, countertop that goes over your washer and dryer to give you more space for your folded laundry or anything like that. Um, rather than it, nothing being over top of it, it is kind of almost wasted space that is not that you're not able to use to really set anything on top of. Yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense to think both uh, vertically and horizontally so that you optimize your space. Yeah, because I think a well-organized laundry room just lightens the burden, you know, because things can be spread out. You know, I know for myself, if, if I had more space in my laundry room, it wouldn't be such a bind to do it. Woodland does all of these things. So it's mudrooms, offices, I, bet, I guess anything that has a wood finish or cabinetry is well within your, uh, well within your scope. Yeah, definitely. Pretty much any room in the house that the client is looking for that they are wanting cabinetry, we can supply that. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Um, so, you know, just for the, for the viewers, um, Quality Home switched to Woodland Horizon about three years ago. And the difference in the quality of our kitchens, um, the difference in the completion of installations has been phenomenal. And I just wanted to thank you, Vanessa, and your team at, at Woodland. Um, we, we are very close with our suppliers, and you guys have certainly earned it by giving our customers a phenomenal experience and giving us as a company a phenomenal experience. So, so thank you for all of that. It's, it's, it's really important to us. 
Yes, um, thank you. Yeah, before we close off, uh, Vanessa's perfect kitchen. Species, colors, <laughs> couple of features. What's the best kitchen Vanessa could ever do? Budget is no problem. There's no, no budget, okay. <laughs> um, well, for myself, I'm definitely, um, I like the paints rather than stains for myself. Um, paints with really nice um, hood range for sure. And then I like the, the gold hardware, that type of thing. So I guess a more modern feel to the kitchen for sure. And then um, quartz countertops for me with some really nice big veining through it. And then I kind of like the idea of, um, a colored island, kind of like a, a white perimeter with maybe a darker blue island kind of thing um, to give it, again, that nicer accent piece. That would be my dream kitchen. <laughs> it's, it sounds wonderful. And it's, it's just amazing how we can express ourselves, you know, our differences and our likes and our passions in terms of the, um, of the finishes and the, and the coloring and the species that we choose. Um, just, just sounds amazing. And it's just so nice to have all of these personalization options from one company. Uh, Vanessa, can't thank you enough for your time. Uh, please give us your website, contact details. You know, how can our customers check out all your wonderful galleries and stuff um, and perhaps get in touch with you directly should they need to? Yeah, our website, uh, you can look at us on our website. It is woodlandhorizon.com. And we also have um, a variety of social media, social medias um, on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and also House. You can find us on any of those. Wonderful. Uh, Vanessa, thank you. And, uh, you know, we look forward to many more years of, of uh, Woodland Kitchens being featured in quality homes and our customers just loving their home entertaining, home living, office, bathroom, mudroom experience. Yes, thank you again so much for having me on. And we are definitely looking forward to many more years with Quality Homes. It has been a really great experience for us. Thanks, Vanessa.